It's the 14th of April. I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath, and you're watching News 24 Live. Wide scale looting erupted across Durban's townships last night as xenophobic sentiments boiled over. According to News 24's Jeff Wicks, several people have been killed and thousands more displaced as violent attacks on the basis of ethnicity continued. Gangs moved from shop to shop in Kwamashu last night. Hundreds of police officers who were deployed from all across KZN faced thousands of people who descended on foreign-owned shops. The SAPS's Colonel Jay Nikas said arrests have been made. Um, so far we've arrested 30 people. So far they've been charged for public violence as well as two of them have been charged for being in possession of illegal firearms. Um, we will be doubling up police forces tonight so that we can effect more arrests. If you got dressed in the dark this morning, that's because ESCOM has implemented stage two of load shedding and this is across the country. It began at 6 a.m. this morning and will continue until 10 p.m. tonight. This follows two days of load shedding. Now, News24 users have reported extended periods of power outages. Today, ESCOM said the electricity supply system remains very vulnerable due to a shortage of generation capacity. Several units are currently out of service due to planned and unplanned outages. And finally, today marks one year since the abduction of 219 schoolgirls from Nigeria's northern east town of Chibuk as they, after they were abducted by Boko Haram. The day is set to be remembered across the world as calls for the girls' release are still being issued. Boko Haram initially kidnapped 276 girls, 57 escaped, and nothing has been heard of the remaining girls since May last year. According to Amnesty International, Islamists in the region have kidnapped at least 2,000 women and girls since the beginning of last year. AFP reported that the focus of the one-year commemoration was on Nigeria's capital Abuja. Now, in Abuja, a vigil has been held demanding the girls' release for almost every day since they were kidnapped. We'll be keeping you updated on these stories and more. Stay tuned to News 24 Live.